okay hello guys okay so this is a bit a brief video hopefully you know to show you how to move your money around inside of binance you know um i do tend to i do tend to sell you know my usdt you know on the p2p platform you know every now and then when i want to you know convert it to um to pound sterling so whenever i want to sell my sell my usdt uh to pound sterling i usually would um you know have to move the money around and you can see at the moment you know how much it says i have there at the top you know it says um, i have you know an amount equivalent to 577 dollars and 68 cents yes you know this is my binance account you know i don't keep my money in binance i don't keep it in any exchange as such unless just to um, do whatever i need to do there and i move it back to my ledger well my money is kept in my ledger because i have the private keys to that and i feel safer with that you know with all the uh, the way the the us government and you know perhaps other governments of the world are wanting to fight binance and other exchanges that's not where you want to have it anyway although you know i have always no, I, I've always, you know, advocated not keeping your money in exchanges, not just because of that, but because you don't really have access to the private keys. Your private keys is not really yours. If you don't have the, if you don't have access to your private keys, in a sense, it's it's as though it's not yours. It's yeah, it's like you say you own a house and you don't have the key to the door. That's where it is when you place your money in exchanges. Okay, let's get down to it. So at the bottom there. You can see where it says home, markets, trade, futures, and wallets. What you want to do is click on wallet. And then it brings you to this page. At the top there, it says overview, spot, uh, spot, funding, margin, and futures. You know, you can see spot is selected. So that's where the money is. My money in Binance is at the moment what i want to do is to move it to funding you know because if i want to if i wanted to sell the whole of that amount or part of it you know um you know on the p2p platform i would have to have it in the funding account not the spot account so i want to move it so you can see the options there below the the price um, it, there is deposit there's withdraw there's transfer so what i want to do is to click on the transfer click on transfer and um, you know it tells you you know you have the option so what I want to do is to choose let me choose let me choose the correct currency first USDT I choose USDT there and I want to move it from spot where the money is currently I want to move it you know I choose the option so basically I tap on um, where it says cross margin to give me all the options I have. So I want to move it to funding. You can see funding there. Select funding. Voila. So basically, I'm wanting to move the money, um, you know, from my spot wallet to the funding wallet. I would then choose the amount I want to move. Uh, how much do I move now? Let me move everything. Uh, let's move the 228 um, click on confirm transfer transfer successful confirm okay transfer successful so you can see now in there it says I have 209 in the spot let's check how much I have them funding now click on the funding at the top so you can see I have some of my money in the funding account and some in the spot uh, well funding wallet or funding account and the rest of it in the spot so you know from here now I mean I'm doing it on my phone you know but when I do want to sell on the P2P platform I tend to do it on my uh, on my on my computer on my desktop you know um, so I think I'll continue with that there. But anyway, you can see, you know, the highlight, the highlighted button there in, in yellow, 
which says deposit just under there you click on p2p assuming i was going to sell you know um, that money i just moved over to the funding account assuming i wanted to sell it on the, um, the p2p i will click on that p2p which stands for peer-to-peer -peer. it basically means you're selling to other um, clients or customers of binance click on that and it takes you to nope don't want to watch a tutorial video it takes you to this platform this is the p2p platform you can see somewhere at the top there's the option to buy or sell i don't want to buy i want to sell what i have so click on the sell it keeps on coming up with that so i click on the sell and USDT is already selected there um what else do i want to change the, the filter so as i begin to scroll up and down you can see the various people who are willing to buy my usdt from me and you can see there are various rates starting from the top there there is this chap easy swap otc um he wants to sell it at 0 0.890 you know that's for one usdt the other person wants to sell it for the next person wants to sell it for 0 0.865 and the next 0 0.831 so i have to decide which one i need to go with you know i mean there are a number of options as to um who to go with you know um i would discuss that in the next video in the follow-up video you know where i will show you um the process of actually selling um your usdt or any other crypto for that matter on binance even as you can see at the very top there um, i have usdt selected but you know um i could also choose to sell my bitcoin or busd or bnb or ethereum blase blase that's just the way it works so there's going to be a follow-up video that you know then you know it would be on my desktop not on my mobile phone i thought i'd quickly do this just obviously to um share with you guys you know um follow me on telegram follow me well join our telegram group where you get a whole lot more free tips and other you know um business opportunities that could you know generate some income for you you also get to know about other things that you know i do i.e forex trading and forex you know mentorship so on and so forth follow me on instagram and on all social media platforms hey is the forex daddy here bye now